Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about meaning, characteristics, sources and types of hypothesis. So what is hypothesis? Hypothesis is a statement which we suppose, guess, imagine or predict in our research. Hypothesis is a statement which we suppose, guess, imagine or predict in our research. And during our research, we verify or test these statements. If our research information support or is in favor of our hypothesis, then we accept it. Otherwise, we reject it. Please listen carefully. If our research data or information support or is in favor of our hypothesis, then we accept it. Otherwise, we reject it. For example, I suppose regular exercise can reduce the risk of diseases, improve mood and boost energy. This is my hypothesis. During my research, I verify or test these hypotheses. If my research information support or is in favor of this hypothesis, then I accept it. Otherwise, I reject it. Now we will see characteristics of good hypothesis. First is it should be testable. We should make hypothesis which we can easily verify. It should be logical. Our hypothesis should be reasonable, practical and sensible. It should be specific and clear, means we should clearly define our hypothesis. It should be simple and understandable. It should be economical, means our hypothesis should consume less time and money. Last is relevant. Our hypothesis should be relevant, that means our hypothesis should relate it to our research problem. Now we will see sources of hypothesis. Sources of hypothesis means from where you can find your hypothesis. Sources of hypothesis means from where you can find your hypothesis. There are so many sources of hypothesis. First is real life experiences. You can formulate hypothesis based on your real life experiences. Next is literature. You can take help from books, newspaper, articles for formulating your hypothesis. Next is observation. You can formulate hypothesis based on your observation. Next is knowledge of culture and society. You can formulate hypothesis based on your knowledge of culture and society in which you belong. Plus, you can also formulate hypothesis based on your creative thinking, imagination and intuitions. Last is interaction with knowledgeable person. You can formulate hypothesis by taking suggestion from any knowledgeable person. Now we will see types of hypothesis. Types of hypothesis are simple hypothesis, complex hypothesis, null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, directional hypothesis and non-directional hypothesis. One by one we discuss about each. Before knowing about types of hypothesis, you must know about independent variable and dependent variable. Because all types of hypothesis are based on independent variable and dependent variable. So what is independent variable? Independent variable basically is cause. On the other hand, dependent variable is effect. For example, if you eat healthy, then you will live longer. Here you can clearly see eating healthy is cause of living longer. That's why eat healthy will our independent variable because independent variable is cause. On the other hand, living longer is effect of eating healthy. That's why live longer is our dependent variable because dependent variable is effect. Now we will see types of hypothesis. First type of hypothesis is simple hypothesis. Simple hypothesis predict relationship between single independent variable and single dependent variable. Simple hypothesis predict relationship between single independent variable and single dependent variable. For example, if you do meditation, then you feel happy. In this statement, you can see we have single independent variable and single dependent variable. Do meditation is single independent variable and feel happy single dependent variable. So we can say that simple hypothesis predict relationship between single dependent variable and single independent variable. Second type of hypothesis is complex hypothesis. Complex hypothesis predict the relationship between two or more dependent variable and two or more independent variables. 
कॉम्प्लेक्स हाइपोथीसिस प्रिडिक्ट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू और मोर डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड टू और मोर इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू डू रेगुलर एक्सरसाइज योगा एंड मेडिटेशन देन यू फील हेल्दी एनर्जेटिक एंड हैप्पी हेयर यू कैन सी वी हैव थ्री इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल रेगुलर एक्सरसाइज योगा एंड मेडिटेशन प्लस वी ऑल्सो हैव थ्री डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल हेल्दी एनर्जेटिक एंड हैप्पी सो वी कैन से दर कॉम्प्लेक्स हाइपोथेसिस प्रडिक्ट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू और मोर डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड टू और मोर इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स नेक्स्ट टाइप इज नल हाइपोथिस नल हाइपोथिस शोज नो रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू वेरिएबल्स अंडर रिसर्च स्टडी नल हाइपोथिस शोज नो रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू वेरिएबल्स अंडर रिसर्च स्टडी For example, there is no significant change in my health when I drink green tea. So I can say that there is no relationship between good health and green tea. This will be called null hypothesis because null hypothesis shows no relationship between two variables under research study. Now we will see alternative hypothesis. Alternative hypothesis is just opposite to null hypothesis because this hypothesis shows significant relationship between two variables. Alternative hypothesis is just opposite to null hypothesis because this hypothesis shows significant relationship between two variables, and this hypothesis disproves null hypothesis. For example, my null hypothesis was there is no relationship between good health and green tea. but when i ask from my friends uh, relatives and so many people these people told me that their health is improving after taking green tea that's why i reject my null hypothesis and make one new hypothesis which shows significant relationship between good health and green tea this hypothesis will called alternative hypothesis because alternative hypothesis shows significant relationship between two variables now we will see directional hypothesis directional hypothesis shows direction of relationship between two variables directional hypothesis shows direction of relationship between two variables or we can say that directional hypothesis predict effect in particular direction this direction can be positive negative etc for example there is positive relation between advertisement and sale of product this hypothesis will called directional hypothesis because this hypothesis is predicting effect in positive direction now we will see non directional hypothesis non directional hypothesis predict the relationship between two variables but don't specify direction of relationship non directional hypothesis predict the relationship between two variables but don't specify direction of relationship or we can say that non directional hypothesis only tell us about relationship but don't indicate direction of relationship for example advertisement effect sale of product this hypothesis show there is relationship between advertisement and sale of product but don't specify this relationship is positive or negative that's why this hypothesis will call no non directional hypothesis because non directional hypothesis only tell us about relationship but don't specify direction of relationship so this is all about meaning of hypothesis sources characteristics and types of hypothesis i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care